matter which learning model we are in, Proctor Public Schools is ready to make your education what it's always been, filled with innovation and opportunities. We see great things in our students. We see great things for our future. At Proctor Public Schools, we are rail strong. Good morning, Rails. Welcome back. It's election day across the country, very patriotic day here in America. Uh, hopefully you seniors who are 18 already have gotten out and voted. Uh, I got my sticker here. I voted. Good deal. Did my patriotic duty. Uh, so it's going to be an exciting day to see who will be leading our country here for the next four years. Uh, and here at Proctor High School, it's an exciting week as we are starting our homecoming week Fall homecoming here on Wednesday, uh, and we have lots of events to talk about and things going on. So let's get to it. Well, being it is such a patriotic day here in America, let's start our ramblings here with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, in the spirit of elections and voting, uh, our king and queen candidates in the fall homecoming court uh, will be on a ballot for all students to vote by the end of the week uh, for who our fall homecoming king and queen will be. And as I announced last week, the candidates on this year's fall homecoming court are as follows. The queen candidates are Carly Barnsdorf, Morgan Binsfield, Ella Boyson, Aubrey Garner, Mackenzie Gunderson, Josie Moss, and Courtney Werner. And our king candidates, Evan Chakalski, Sage Henderson, Alex McPhee, Nolan Mealy, Wyatt Oakstead, Spencer Smith, and John Werner. So those students will be on the ballot for Fall Homecoming King and Queen, and you will get a ballot by the end of the week. I'll send an announcement out uh, with some information about how to vote for your choice for Fall Homecoming King and Queen. Well, this year we have a new event coming to Homecoming Week. Uh, traditionally, this event is held on Hoghead each year, but because we didn't have Hoghead, we're bringing the hunt for the Golden Spike, uh, the treasure hunt for the Golden Spike uh, in Proctor for Homecoming Week. So starting on Thursday morning on the Proctor Journal website that I will link uh, to our website and send a link out by email, starting on Thursday morning, there will be clues every morning and evening uh, for a scavenger hunt or for a hunt for the golden spike that's hidden somewhere in Proctor. So everybody can be involved. You can hunt for the spike. Uh, and if you find the golden spike, you'll bring it to the uh, office and to me, and you will get a fabulous prize. So the hunt for the golden spike is on starting Thursday morning. Go to the Proctor Journal website for your first clue. Get ready for some exciting action on Sunday at Eggerdahl Field. Uh, we are having our first punt, pass, and kick competition. Uh, this kind of takes the place of our powder puff football tournament that we had in previous years. Uh, but girls in grades 9 through 12 are encouraged to get teams together of five girls and two guys, preferably football player guys, uh, by Thursday to participate in this punt, pass, and kick game on Sunday at Eggerdahl. Uh, once teams sign up, one team member will be emailed to tell the specific time in which their team is participating. Uh, the times will be somewhere between 1 and 4 p.m. Uh, and this is kind of an individual and team competition where girls will punt, pass, and kick to see who can do the best with those things. 
<clears throat> and your teams will get points based on your performance. Uh, teams are encouraged to dress up as a team in fun attire, and social distancing and masks are mandatory. Uh, we hope that you have a great turnout and everybody show their school pride and look for an email from Mr. Gilderman uh, with a spreadsheet to sign your team up. Or if you have questions, contact Courtney Werner. Uh, she is the one that will help you uh, get registered if you have questions and don't see the sign up form. So get your team signed up as soon as possible by Thursday. Well, throughout the week, starting on Thursday, uh, we are going to have virtual pep assembly events happening uh, and will be brought to you uh, on YouTube um, through Rails TV each day around 2 o'clock. They'll be re released. Uh, so contestants in these virtual assembly game shows uh, will be invited to school at about 1245 Thursday through next Wednesday uh, to compete in their events and their game shows. And uh, they'll be recorded at about 1 o'clock, and that recording then will be played at about 2 o'clock and released on our YouTube channel uh, so that you can see the events happening. So what are the events? Well, on Thursday will be Freshman Family Feud. Friday will be Call My Cap. Next Monday is Are You Smarter Than a PHS Freshman? Tuesday will be Minute to Win It. And Wednesday will be Jeopardy. So who's in these events? Well, contestants for the uh, freshman family feud will be team number one will be Nolan Oakstead, Zach McPhee, and Dane Oman. Team number two, Alex Ruth, Ella Walker, and Cooper Cullenbach. So again, be at the school about 1245 for the recording of that game show at one o'clock on Thursday. Uh, for Call My Cap on Friday, playing Call My Cap will be Juan Lenz, Jacob White, Kylie Jarvie and Grace Donaski. Uh, and special note for the sophomores for Call My Cap, uh, you need to come up with 12 statements about yourselves before you come, nine of which are true and three of which are false. Make them family friendly and entertaining. Please have those ready for when you come to the show. <clears throat> those playing Are You Smarter Than a PHS Freshman will be Maisie Roweeder, Revan King, Samantha Walker, Grant Walker, and Ember Cadle. And then playing Minute to Win It is Dante Stradioti, Brady Zubek, Nicole Ersman, Jaden Shaw, and Grant Haugen. So that should be fun. That should be exciting. should be awesome. So if you are in the freshman, freshman family feud, report to the school about 1245 on Thursday. If you're in Call My Cap, report to the school 1245 on Friday. If you're in Are You Smarter Than a PHS Freshman, report on Monday. Minute to Win It will be Tuesday. And then uh, Jeopardy, which we'll have more information on, uh, will be next Wednesday. Well, as, as we traditionally do on homecoming week, we have dress up days uh, to show your school spirit. Uh, and this week, is, this year will be uh, similar, but it'll be virtual. So on this Canvas code, Right here, you enroll in this Canvas code. This is where each grade level will have a module in Canvas with that Canvas code class uh, to see how you can vote for the people with the best dressed uh, this week in terms of the themes. Um, and so the homecoming dress up days are as follows. Wednesday this week will be dress your best, show your style. Thursday will be dressed like your favorite teacher. Friday will be camo day in honor of the opening of deer rifle season. Monday, there'll be some voting during rail time for the previous week's submissions of uh, dress up. Um, and that'll be on that canvas page. Uh, Tuesday, next week will be pajama day. And then Wednesday, November 11th will be Jersey day. So again, log into and go to the uh, canvas code listed here. Enroll in that course and look for your grade level module to get more information. Well, and finally, our last event uh, that we're doing is a charity event uh, for our community in the holiday season. Every year we do Hammer Out Hunger for the Hammer Game. So starting on Wednesday and going through November 25th, we'll be collecting money online in a GoFundMe page through social media uh, to 
donate to the food shelf so that food can be uh, provided in, in a time of need uh, <clears throat> during the holiday season. And last year we collected over three tons of food for our area food shelf. This year we want to beat that. And instead of collecting actual canned goods and, and food items, the food shelf would rather have money because each dollar represents a certain amount of food. Um, and so we're going to be starting a GoFundMe page on social media. So look for that. And uh, we're going to have competitions for different grade levels of who can raise the most. And uh, it should be fun. So with that, that's what we got for our homecoming week. Fire up, go rails, have an awesome week.